subscribers. I think since the Storm Kira video, I've had an increase of about 500. That's phenomenal. So thank you very much and welcome to all. Uh, but yeah, tonight I'm camping again with the English Woodsman. He's come out to uh, test his one Tigris iron wall tent and an uh, outbacker stove or something it's called. Um, and I'm again in my snug pack stratosphere, taking some advice from people earlier on, uh, trying to keep low down and out of the wind. Yeah, it's raining, as you can see. The wind is supposed to tail off later on. So stick with us and we'll bring you along for the ride. points at the top it just gives you that little bit of give in windy conditions uh, so yeah it's just a lark said go through and then the guy rope come through a simple sort of climbing stop or not at the end there. Again if you check out my channel you'll see my uh, my little knots um, playlist. But yeah that's basically it. Okay so I don't know how well you can hear uh, but it is raining outside as normal for Yorkshire. Uh, so I've come and joined the English woodsman in the uh, the one tigress. We're just about to get the stove lit. Um, warm his little socks up. Exactly, yeah. Um, as I said, let's get his coats off and get warmed up in his video, he said that. But go across to his channel if you're not a subscriber of his already, uh, which I very much doubt, because uh, he's been doing this a long time, so if you like this sort of video, you, you will be. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do all my cooking in here as well. As I said in my own video, I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm out to sleep in the stratosphere uh, and test the gear for you lot. But I'm not stupid, I'm going to stay warm and dry as long as I can. Uh, cooking here, uh, and probably sitting here until I've done Dan's heading enough that he kicks me out. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to get stove lit, get some tea, I'll show you exactly what we brought with us again. Uh, maybe even a cup of tea, or a coffee, who knows. See you in a bit. dry wood because we've had that many storms over the last two weeks everything's just so wet there's no point in even trying to start a fire outside or bring firewood indoors plus the government don't want us burning wet wood anymore to help the environment so you know what I think I'm doing my part tonight eco warrior well you know, we've got to look we've got us kids haven't we we've got to help them out for the future those grandkids and just a future country, aren't we? Of the world, should I say. 
can't keep treating it the way we are. Right, I'll let that burn and I'll get back to you. Okay, so yeah, this is why we're uh, here tonight. English Woodman has brought this along with him. Uh, I think it's the Outbacker uh, is the brand stove. Um, it's been lit now about 10 minutes. Nicely warming up in here. Um, but yeah, once it is warmed up properly, gets coats off, get to making a brew uh, using. I'll leave a link to English Woodsman's review of this. Uh, his kettle that he brings with him, the OEX. Brewster kettle, I think it's called, fits just perfectly on top of here. So we'll get a brew on, get some grub on as we always do. Uh, someone referred to us the other day as better than the hairy bikers for his food. So thanks very much for that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll bring you back as we're going along. Okay, so as normal, I've uh, done a bit of prep work at home uh, in this bag here. Uh, we've got a chopped onion, uh, some tomato, some mushroom, uh, a little bit of carrot and then some green chilies, some really, really hot chilies. Because, uh, as I've said before, I like my food hot. Uh, I've been told before that I've got a, a copper sphincter. <laughs> But yeah, again, I've uh, prepped my chicken, seasoned it how I like. You can see in there we've got the uh, Himalayan sea salt, cracked black pepper and the chilli flakes. Uh, it's been resting on that now a good couple couple of hours before we came out. Uh, and then I'm cheating with the sauce on offer again at uh, Tesco, 95 pence, tin of tikka masala. So guess what I'm having for me tea, people? Right, I'll bring you back. Oh, hang on. And some rice. <laughs> yeah, again, you've seen this before. It says microwave rice on there. However, I'll turn it over and you can read here. You can do it on the hob. Okay, so I'll bring you back as we're going along. Should be too long. Shouldn't be too long. Should be too long. Shouldn't be too long. Oh, we've got an issue if I press it down. Sizzle. On a little, a sizzle, that's it, a sizzle, not on this. Sizzle vision. Right, we'll leave that alone for a bit. Bring it back. Right, so as you can see, this is uh, Dan's dinner, not mine. Ooh. Yeah, so as you can see, this is uh, Dan's dinner, not mine. Uh, he's got minted lamb ribs. He said he's going to offer you one, I think I might just take him up on that offer because they do look rather nice, I bet you agree as well, don't you? But I would say he can't eat all that, but I know he can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, what, again, uh, hot stove tent, we're not cooking outside tonight, we're cooking inside, bit of comfort, camping. So again, we've got to take it in turns. Uh, so Dan's is cooking away, I've prepared all mine, I've shown you all mine. Uh, and I'll bring you back when Dan's is nearly done and I'm just getting ready. People, listen to this. I don't think you heard it too good. Sorry about that. I thought I'd bring you back to show you that part. Yeah, you can. See, they're definitely cooking nice. Oh, it's taking the time, but you know, there's no rush. No rush at all. There you are, people. Dan's uh, minted lamb ribs coming along nicely. Uh, he's added in some asparagus, uh, a bit of mushroom and some red onion in there somewhere. And I must say, from my perspective, it's smelling absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm salivating looking at it. <laughs> but yeah, he's, gonna fit, he's nearly done, so I can just about get going. So, we'll bring you back shortly. Right, well I'm going to take my dinner off because Scott is wanting to cook his now. I don't blame him either. I think I've made him hungry. You have indeed. Have you got a spare plate? Uh, I'll put it on my plate for now. Yeah, 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 I'll grab it in a minute. Take it off. Right, so while Dan's doing that, I'm just going to oil my pan up. 
Getting that little chilli oil in my uh, trusty pound shop bottles. Chilli oil in a curry. My insides must be rotten. <laughs> Get that sizzling away. I'll bring you back. Right, people. Right people, Dan's giving me a bit of a starter. So, sizzle vision. Oh. <laughs> oh, vision. That is amazing vision. <laughs> oh. Right. Get it stirred up. Let it cook a bit. I'll bring it back. Just to show people that uh, Dan won't lie in his channel look, he has given me um, one of these lamb ribs. He won't lie in. And he's cooked them to perfection. So this is like my starter and my uh, curry's cooking right behind where you are sat at a minute. Beautiful mate, thanks very much. Look at this people, I keep referring back to, to my old saying. Uh, live like tramps but eat like kings. Look at that. So I've got that and my starter on go. Beautiful. Alright, so chicken's going along nicely. It's now time for the veggies. So again, uh, tomato, chilli, carrot, onion uh, and mushroom I think in there. You can see why someone called it the airy bikers before. Right, let's get all that in there. Let's not mess about. Get it chucked in. Woohoo! Look at that, look at that. Get rid of my, uh, my lamb rib bone. Give this a bit of a mix round. So, uh, this is for one, this is for one. Woohoo! Very good ass. Yeah, right, I'll let these cook a minute and bring you back. Good out, people, coming along really, really nicely. So I'm going to add the rice in now, because uh, I can. I'll just open that up, Let's get it tipped in, it's not bugging about again. Remember to take all your waste with you people, leave no trace. No, <laughs> Dan's just sat here enjoying his uh, meal, looking like a caveman, literally. <laughs> so I'm just going to give this a quick stir, and then I'll cut you off, and then I'll add sauce in when it's ready. Ooh, look at that, almost look like a paella. Arriba, arriba! Right people, so my veggies have now had about three or four minutes, just enough to soften them up ever so slightly so it's time to add the sauce yeah not gonna get a sizzle from this are we but yeah again just dump it in <laughs> look at that give that a good mix you feel like meals you've eaten that <laughs> i know dan is literally laid to the side of me like in a food coma. I'm not outside of the town's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. at the other side of the tent, people. Yeah, he's at the other side of the tent. <laughs> but yeah. Don't <laughs> start that rumour off on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, curry looking really nice. He's in a food coma, as I said. From his minted lamb ribs. Beard's coming in it. His beard's coming in it, yeah. Wake up looking my lips right. <laughs> Yep, so yeah, I'll get that finished off and I'll bring you back. Propping that door off, right? It? Just gives that extra bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Like if you can see that paper, we're bubbling in corners. Just there and over there. So I'd say that's just about done. So I'll take it off at the stove and get rid of the tucking. Right, people, I've uh, got me tea. Look at that. Steaming, smoking away. Go try a bit? No, thank you, I'm absolutely stuffed. Can't get nowhere else in this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. Dan's put kettle on for us, 
so we're gonna have a brew. Uh, and then after tea, we'll see where it takes us. See you soon. Yeah, so here I am enjoying me uh, McKinney people. Far too much for one person. Dan don't want to help me out either. I think he should. What do you reckon? No, I'm too sure. Or do you want a bit? Yeah, absolutely love it. So yeah, we'll finish up. Kettle's nearly boiled, nearly brew time. And then uh, it's like I have to face the elements and go back out to my own tent to go to sleep. Never mind. I need to take the kettle off and slip this plate straight back on. Oh, thankfully it's not that warm now, so that's not a problem. There you go. Plates back on. Let's do the brews. I've been looking forward to now for the past 10-15 minutes when it's been boiling away. Oh, that does actually look pretty good on camera as well, doesn't it? Perfect. There we go. Nope. Nice coffee for you, sir. Coffee for myself. Okay, so I've given up on my tea, pogged myself out. Uh, rain's coming down quite heavy at the minute. I'm having second thoughts about going back out to my stratosphere. <laughs> get gone. <yum. laughs> but I'm, I'm I want to get naked here. <laughs> I'm red up. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back out to the stratosphere. Uh, but nine o'clock, half past nine now. I don't know, something like that, is it? Five past nine. Five yeah. past nine. Uh, got me coffee that Dan made me. See, the rain, you can hear, the wind has settled down slightly. Yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. I didn't realise it. That means no trees are going to fall in this. Oh, I hope not. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, wind settled down, rain's coming hard. Uh, I've just heard Dan telling his viewers that he's in for the next 48 hours at least. Which ain't good, is it? Too much for rain in two days. It ain't bothering us. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll bring you back when there's something happening. Right, so it's coming towards uh, my bedtime now. So I'll wait for my coat back on. Get me hood up. Because <laughs> it's persisting it down outside. I'm not feeling sorry for them, no matter what you say. <laughs> so yeah, I've uh, got to go and get in my uh, my bivvy, my snug pack stratosphere. I was lovely and warm in that during Storm Kira, uh, but I don't think I'm going to be as warm as I would be, well, as warm as Danny's in here, the bugger. Too right. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, going to leave a couple of bits of gear in here, my tripod, if that's all right, mate. Yes, we will. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do the rest of my filming freehand, uh, I've got to get changed and then I'll bring you back. Right there you go peeps, it's holding up well. Right, got to get in this bad boy. Right people, uh, I ain't giving up on my camp, I ain't giving up on my gear, but are a little bit cold, not freezing. So I messaged my mate and says, "Can I come and get in, in bed with you because it's freezing out here?" <laughs> <laughs> and he quite happily obliged. Although he spread himself out that much, he put me right back door. <laughs> look, look at all his space over there. Look at him. <laughs> He's like king. And I've got like, a little crevice of. Uh, that's it there, just it's me, a gap, and then my feet are wet through, so I put my feet in one of them bags for life that we had all wood in earlier on just to keep my feet dry. Yeah, but you're gonna be 
warm, aren't you? Exactly, yeah, I'll be warm. It'll dry out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. You could have lied about it, couldn't we? Yeah, we anyone. could have lied about it. I would have done it, but, you know, on a normal night, but I thought, what's the point when there's a big fire in here? <laughs> so, I've left my gear out there, I've thrown a, a pole over the top of it just to sort of keep it battened down, just in case, because it is quite, getting quite windy again, I don't know if you can see on the roof at the tent there, flapping a bit. It's windy now, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. I'm, uh, going to get some sleep, and then uh, I'll check back in in the morning. Tell you what I meant, people. Well, slippers for life. Uh, yeah, that's it, slippers for life. <laughs> that last forever. Oh no, it is ever last. Uh, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I've done. I've stuck my feet in bag. Uh, quite close to the stove, but I can keep away from it. Yep, stove's going lovely for us. Needs to get a little bit more air for it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a lot warmer in here than it is out there, let me tell you. Yeah, but yeah, that's it, keep time. Night peeps. Morning everyone, uh, just after six o'clock. Uh, first night in a hot tent for me. Can't complain, loved it like I'm in central heat on at home. Um, yeah, it's been great. Tent's held up well. Been battered quite a lot by rain. But yeah, we're still here. So, I'm going to have to start making a move soon if I can be bothered. Get some breakfast, don't go. Got that black and white pudding to look forward to, haven't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll bring you back as we uh, whoa, start to get sorted. 49p, though, is it, for two? I've never tasted this one before. Right, so we stuck the frying pan back on the stove. Uh, we're going to have some black and white pudding. Uh, Dan's going to do some cooking. Here we go, some black and white pudding from local farmers uh, farm shop. It used to be Keelum Farm Shop, for those of you I don't know, it's changed its name. That's sound, isn't it? Yeah, but 49 pence for two bits of black and white pudding. Can't knock that. So yeah, Dan's going to do some cooking, I'm going to go and sort all my gear out that's outside. So I'll try and film a little bit out there, but other than that I'll be looking forward to this. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, so it's uh, just after 7 o'clock. Not too far from civilization, are we? Uh, you see that's where I'm set up there. And then the one Tigris tent is over there. Um, I abandoned my snug pack gear just for the warmth. I'm not stupid. I would have trusted the gear, so I'll show you inside my uh, stratosphere before I take it down, see if it's withstanding. But this is uh, again the little babbling beck that we've normally got here. It's almost like a river now. I'm sure there are worse affected areas, but this is us. So these uh, pound shot bobbles have withstood a bit of a beating. So I've just got to untie this tarp and I'm not going to stand on ceremony. I've just brought with me a big 40 litre valved snug pack dry bag. Everything's just going to go straight in there. I'm not messing about. Uh, get it sorted out at home. Right. Be back here with it. Okay, so at the moment of truth, we'll find my zip. See if we uh, wedged them. We've stood the battering from the rain. Oh, 
dry as a bone. I'm not going to open it all the way up because it's uh, starting to rain again now. But yeah, there you go. Thumbs up. There we go, peeps. As always, leave no trace apart from footprints. Can I turn that one over? Either? Uh -huh. It's really herby though. Mm, you do, yeah. <sighs> this is what Daniel's been up to people while I've been uh, demolishing the stratosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking breakfast for us. Wind's still here, isn't it? It is. It's not raining as much though, now. It is coming, but. I'll sort out before it rains again. Right. But I'll bring you back, my my viewers, not Scott's Boom Sound. This is ready. I took it off and frying pan. Yeah, and I'll uh, bring you back when I've sorted some more gear out. Okay, should we see what Chef Daniel's been up to? There we go, black and white pudding. Served on a broken bit of chopping board. It's like a Michelin restaurant, I tell you, I tell you. Right, so black and white pudding. They tend to say black and white black pudding, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, very. There you go, what do you reckon to that? Focus. Oh mate, for 49p. Little unusual taste, haven't it? Something different. Mm. Robert Shaw's farm shop, thumbs up. Right, I'm going to finish up, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's coffee time people. Um, thanks very much for watching so far. We've only got uh, the one tiger time water to take down now and then we're done. Um, might get a time lapse of it, might not. Wind's picking back up, rain looks like it's going to come in. But just before I go, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, help me get towards that uh, phenomenal milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, but one last thing before I go as well. Uh, happy birthday to my father-in-law. Melvin, you are a legend. Uh, other than that, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, just look at the uh, aftermath here, people. probably worse this morning than it was after Storm Kira. But yeah. See in a bit. <laughs> yeah. So all packed up, ready to go on. Uh, don't forget if you like this video give it a like, comment on it, let us know what you think of our adventures together. Uh, but yeah I've been Scott with Oscar Outdoors. Daniel's been here with English Woodsman. Don't forget to go over to his channel and watch his version of this video. Uh, there'll be a link in the description just down here somewhere. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one.